How did the monkey move up the rope? Watch this. First, stick a paper clip to the back of the monkey. Then use a magnet to attract the paper clip and move the monkey up the rope like this. You can do this trick too if you have a magnet. These are all magnets. You may have played with or used some of them before. Magnets attract objects which are made of iron or steel. Its ability to attract iron or steel makes it very useful. Let's look at the refrigerator in your home. The air inside is always cold if the door is tightly closed. If you look at the edge of the door, you will see a strip of rubber like this. Underneath the rubber, there is a long thin magnet. When the door is shut, this strip of magnet attracts the steel wall over here and so the door of the refrigerator stays shut. Magnets are also used in the magnetic catches on cupboards to hold the doors shut. This piece of iron gets attracted to the magnet in the catch when the door is pushed shut. The attraction keeps the door closed. And how about this pencil case? What keeps it closed? The magnet on the pencil case attracts the piece of iron on the lid and so they stick firmly together. Magnets are also used in some door stoppers. This magnet in the stopper sticks to the piece of iron on the wall. Even a very strong wind can't blow this door shut now. Many of the objects your family uses every day have magnets in them, but they have special magnets. The television set, the vacuum cleaner, the radio cassette player, the doorbell, and even the telephone. The magnets in these objects all need electricity to work. They are called electromagnets. This is an electric doorbell. It has two pieces of iron and a smaller piece with a coil of wire around it. When we switch on the electricity, this is what happens. The electricity in the coil makes the small piece of iron an electromagnet. When we switch off the electricity, the piece of iron in the coil is no longer a magnet. Electromagnets are very useful. This huge crane at the junkyard is sorting out heavy things made of iron and steel. How does it pick up the heavy pieces of iron and steel and put them in other places? That's right, over at this end of the crane is a big electromagnet. Electromagnets are also used at the incinerator where all the rubbish from our homes is burned. Here's a separator with an electromagnet in it. What sort of things are being attracted to the separator? Now look at these two magnets. One is hanging freely from a piece of string. The other is floating in a basin of water. When the magnets stop moving, they both point in the same direction. Do you know which direction this is? This compass shows that both magnets are resting in a north-south direction. 
freely turning magnets always come to rest in a north-south direction. This is very useful because it helps us to check our direction. That's why magnets are used in compasses. When you're in the middle of a desert or on the open sea, there are no landmarks to tell you where you are. So you need to use a compass. The jungle is another place where you need a compass to move about. This soldier is using a compass to check if they are following the map correctly. His compass has the four main directions marked on it. North, South, East and West. The most important part of this compass is the compass needle which is a magnet. This needle is a freely turning magnet. The north seeking pole of the needle always points north. With a compass to help them, these soldiers will not get lost. The compass will always help them find the direction shown on their map. Where else are magnetic compasses being used? These ships travel all over the world. How do the captains of the ships know if they are going in the correct direction? Each ship has a special compass that is used to check the ship's direction. It works the same way as the soldier's compass, but it is much bigger and more accurate. So you can see, magnets are very useful. They tell us which direction we are moving in and also help make our lives much more convenient. <laughs>